Hey there guys, it's Cameron. Uh, my voice is a little hoarse because uh, I'm sick and also it's like there's a lightning storm outside so hopefully you'll forgive me. So basically I just wanted to make this video and talk about some things that I learned while making my most recent short film and I'm gonna try and do this after every short film that I make. Hopefully it'll be once a month. I can't guarantee anything although I will blame myself. But so the most important thing I think, probably the most important thing that I learned while making this is the importance of music and um I got a good friend of mine, Andrew, uh, his channel will be in the description. I got him to uh, write me a little piece of music, I sent him some reference and I was like, hey, could you make something kind of like this? And he absolutely delivered and got me exactly what I wanted and um, it really, really helped uh, for me to carry the tone sort of um, for the film, for the short, it's not a film. Go on. And so yeah, the, the importance of music is number one. Number two is uh, related to sound design, which is that I is basically don't count on the native audio because a, a lot of times when I have a scene, the audio and the video will be linked. So what that means is that the thing that you're listening to is the thing that is occurring on screen at the same time, which isn't always the best thing. Uh, sometimes it's better to wipe all the audio and then add it in later. So the thing that I've learned with this is basically uh, in the future, I'm going to get a bunch of ambient noise, because I really like the ambient noise um, of the scene and the location. Uh, get a ton of ambient noise outside of the actual scene that is occurring. So just like, basically just like, like bare level, like this is what the location sounds like with no interaction, nothing happening on screen, this is what it sounds like. And then I could apply that to the entire scene, I mean the entire short if I want to and just silence all the parts where something, well there, there isn't an action occurring on screen that would cause a sound. So if somebody is like walking or something, obviously I'm gonna use uh, footstep sound effects while that is happening. But if nothing's happening, then I'll just use the ambient noise. The, the problem that this solves is that if you go back and watch this short, um, a lot of times when it cuts from something to something else, it, the hum changes. So somebody will be talking, it's like, and then it'll, it'll cut and it'll be like, Hopefully you understand sort of what I'm saying, um, and so the ambient sound, stripping everything out, um, silencing everything except for actions that occur with sound effects, uh, hopefully will solve this um, problem. Um, the other thing that I learned is to, and this is just kind of like a little thing, um, is to edit during an action. I think the example I should use is that in the short, she goes to put the shirt on, and when she does that, um, it cuts to a different angle, and I only have one camera, so everything that you see, like, I did. Like, I had to sort of, like, do the whole thing, and then move around, and then do that again. So it wasn't, like, it wasn't the same take ever. Like, if you see two things cut, there was two different takes. If you cut it during an action, it makes it feel more natural and more fluid, and it also distracts the audience from anything that might be happening in the background, so, like, if somebody is in the background for like a quick second and then like the action and then like you might notice that they're gone but no, nobody on the first watch will notice that most of the time probably <laughs> trying to think of some other stuff that I learned uh, oh this is probably the last thing is um if you're planning on doing jump cuts then <laughs> I thought my phone vibrated oops um if you're planning on doing jump cuts then the most important thing is to keep a uh, stable which I have this on a tripod right now um I didn't uh, shoot most of the short on a tripod so uh, jump cuts work more effectively on a uh, static shot so that's basically everything that I learned so to recap for anyone that's watching specifically my future self um, the importance of music music is very important in establishing a tone in a short always always record the ambient noise in whatever location you're using try to cut during a visible action on screen because it makes it feel more fluid and if you're planning on using jump cuts then uh it works best with a stable camera setup all right see you guys later